Hey guys and welcome to this quick tutorial in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the Airbus A320 Neo and today we're in the latest stable build of the fly-by-wire mounted version 0.5.0 Okay, today we're going to have a look at what happens when we perform a go-around in the Airbus A320 So as you can see here we're lined up runway 23 right for Manchester uh, We're on final approach, we're fully configured for landing, cut to the glide slope, localizer, etc, etc We're at final approach speed and what do we do then to initiate a go-around? Well, first of all we need to come down here and have a quick look at the go-around page which is new and our thrust reduction and acceleration altitude for uh, this is going to be 1000 feet and you can set that as you wish some airlines have uh, 1500 feet some airlines have 1000 feet depending on uh, on their standard operating procedures so I'm going to change that actually just for this tutorial and pop that to uh, 1500 and we'll see why in a little bit so every airfield has a missed approach procedure known as the go around track and unfortunately this yet isn't implemented normally the go around track is predetermined when you enter the uh, the, the runway information in the flight computer um, but that's not yet popped into your uh, flight plan for uh, a Microsoft flight simulator um, what we are going to see, however, is how to perform the go-around and what n notices we're going to get here on the uh, on the FMA. So I'm just doing this rather quickly because we're only 2,000 feet away and it really is a rather simple procedure. So what we're going to uh, do and what we're going to see is we're going to go to toga thrust, so thrust levers all the way to the top. So we're going to see man toga just here as you would with the, with the takeoff. We're going to see in green SRS here and then here we are going to see uh, heading mode enabled in green once we pass the uh, thrust reduction and acceleration altitude where the aircraft will just pitch forward a little bit so we can uh, go in and accelerate away. The other thing we need to do once uh, applying toga thrust is obviously raise the landing gears and with them we're going to pull the flap, gear, uh, flap levers up by one notch. So on a fully config landing you're going to go to flaps three or if you were going a config 3 landing you would then go flaps 2 etc uh, etc et it's all going to happen really rather quickly so don't worry about uh, rewinding the video and uh, and having another look so what we're expecting I'm just gonna let this uh, continue the approach a little bit so the magic altitude for this is going to be 1500 feet that's when we're going to pull the uh, thrust levers back because we will see uh, climb thrust flashing just here again as you would do with a takeoff you're essentially going to perform a takeoff uh, procedure mid-air so to speak so I'll just quickly go through that again It's going to be toga power gear up flaps up by one notch we'll see man toga here we'll see SRS here and we'll see heading just here once we get to the climb uh, acceleration altitude thrust reduction and acceleration altitude so that will turn green and the aircraft still with the autopilot on will maintain that um, it will maintain the heading that we're currently on and of course once we get to 1500 feet we need to pull the thrust levers back to the uh, to the climb detent so we're getting lower and lower and lower and let's say that air traffic control say we need to go around so what we would do is let's do that now so toga power gear up flaps by one man toga SRS open climb there's the GA track which sadly is not yet implemented so that will change once we get to 1500 feet so we're just holding this steady as the aircraft continues to climb up pitching up quite severely but that's fine so there we go we pass 1500 leave a climb set climb thrust automatically the aircraft now enters heading mode so we're continuing out on a heading of 235 we can start to bring the flaps up now and we've passed S speed which means we can go clean so no flaps at all and the aircraft will then hold green or should hold green dot speed and there it is the perfect executed missed approach 
you're then now free to turn left right etc do whatever you need to do if you've got ATC or of course if you've got Navigraph charts you'll be able to follow the published missed approach which I believe here at Manchester is something like turn north and climb to I can't remember if it's three or four thousand feet but either way the aircraft will climb up to the uh, three thousand feet which we currently got set which is why you always normally set your uh, go around altitude once you've captured the glide slope the great thing to note about this now is, once again, unlike when the simulator was first released, you now have to activate the approach phase again once you go around for another approach. Normally, if you went on a go around uh, when the aircraft first came out, then you were stuck in the approach phase all the way around. But not now, you have to activate that again. So. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. As I say, it was a very, very quick one. It happens very quickly, but the reasons for performing a go around, of course, are air traffic control telling you you need to go around, you're too high, you're too fast, you're unstable in the approach, or you realize when you're not fully configured for the landing. Simply perform a go around. You've just seen how easy it is. It works beautifully now in the A320 Neo with the fly-by wire mod. So hopefully, do performing a go around now is uh, is pretty straightforward and pretty easy for you thank you for watching please do hit the subscribe button for notifications of live streams and of course more tutorials to come leave some comments in uh, on the video below if you have any questions and i will uh, i will get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye bye for now